Welcome back to the Bitmasters. Uh, we're here in Dragon's Dogma. Finally got to the big ass city that we saw in the distance. That looks so sad. <laughs> Douches, one of my family was murdered. <laughs> You're just a sad old man. You just picture, okay, so ours is like the de perpetually depressed guy. So like every time anyone tells us anything, like, I just got a new dog. My Aww. dog died yesterday. <laughs> yeah, my d all of my dogs are dead. Fucking... <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I guess see you later, man. <laughs> I just got a new house. My house burned down. <laughs> With my dogs. <laughs> Bro, I just proposed to my girlfriend and she said yes. <laughs> my wife just got raped and murdered by <laughs> bandits. She's like, oh. Uh, okay. I'm, oh. oh, darn. Anyways, we're going to do some shopping and try to get some armor. Shopping. Maybe uh, some weapons. Judith, what you got? Oh, oh you think I'm anything? Speak to me, Camellia. Camellia. Is that true? Are you risen? By, she likes the look of us. She'll take good care of us. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Woohoo. <laughs> 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 okay, so she's got stuff. An she airtight does. flask. I'll give her, I'll, I'll fill her airtight flask. <laughs> she's got an empty flask, too. Empty container that can be used to store liquid. Flask of water. A wet flask. An oil flask. Oiled up flask. <laughs> Poison arrows, blinder arrows, oil arrows, crimson concoction. <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that. <laughs> All right, then. Not even doing it. Too easy. Uh, a container used to preserve materials. Place an item inside to print it from perishing. I'm just going to grab two. Whoa. Okay. Two. Because I assume we're going to need them at some point. And we'll grab yeah. five, ten empty flasks. Oh, shit. Whoa, you just yanked the tables? <laughs> wow. Yanking stuff. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> uh, check out. Total 840 gold. I think we can afford that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does she have any armor at all? No, she's just on weird stuff. All right. Let's see what other stuff here. We should probably look at the armor stuff first, just because I have a feeling that it's probably going to be like 50,000 gold. Do come again. Never. Never. All right, let's see this guy. What's he up to, big boy? He's totally a food salesman. He doesn't even want to talk. Oh, here he does. Hail I want to see if he's got something to say, though. He's got a Steve haircut. <laughs> he's got, like, the Lord Farquaad haircut from oh, Shrek. He, he really does have a Farquaad. Two guns here. Oh, full of ruins. Walk a few paces once you go see how far it went. I see. Maybe we should talk to him. We should check out whatever the heck you told us to check out. Meh. He's a food salesman. How much trouble could he get into? in there, dude. How much trouble could we get into? I scared the piss out of him, all right? <laughs> Why do you think he's got that stupid yellow shirt? My cabbages! If you're going to piss your pants a lot, you wear yellow clothes. <laughs> That's how they dyed it back then. That's how you got yellow dyes. You just pissed a lot. You uh, you didn't drink water for a day, but you drank a lot of alcohol. Oh, nope. God. Got your pee nice That'd and That'd be yellow. the worst smelling dye ever. <laughs> Back then, I can't imagine it smelling too much worse than throwing shit out into the streets. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got a min the, the, It's like a city, so it's got to smell like... Blah, <laughs> the worst. Yeah. See, I've heard of talk on the The roads back then in London... Like, run London was considered, like, the most foul-smelling city on Earth at one point. Just because the roads were nothing but compressed oh, shit. Oh, she's going to give us a haircut. I want a haircut. Do we need a haircut? Yeah, dude. Royal treatment? Uh, can we just get the armor first? <laughs> we'll about the haircut later. <laughs> I'm like getting everything like, I want my hair to look dumb. You're going to have like Let's get one a gold coin by the time. <laughs> hey, if as long as my hair, like I wanted to get a haircut. I don't even have any hair. No, no hair exactly. at all. It's a magic haircut. Should They'll make you your hair grow out yeah, first. Doors closed. That's some good examining. Uh, can we check the map and see if there's like a... Yeah, so, see, I was just going to circle around the city and go through that. All right, yeah, that works, I guess. Because this is a big city. It is. Um, I assume the armor is probably going to be, like, in here or, like, right here. Yeah. That's just my video game senses tingling. <laughs> like spider senses, but completely fucking useless. Also... I, spider senses are such like they're such a bad MacGuffin. Like every time like <laughs> anything needs to be dodged or anything crazy happens, spider senses. But then like ninety percent of the other time, just like decked in the face by. A punch. 
Well, I think it's supposed to be kind of like the uh, the tarantula bristle things that they have. That yeah, detect no, I, things. I, I 100% believe you. Yeah. But it is so much like... No, they, they get blown out of proportion, like, ridiculously in some versions. Like... He'll be like able to dodge lightning sometimes. Yeah, that's right. And then in the next one, he will miss like a baseball. It takes a, yeah, it takes a steel beam to the face. Yeah, and it's like come on, a steel beam. You didn't see that coming. A giant vibrating rod flying. He should at have. You. He should have used his jet fuel. Yeah, dude. It can Everyone melt, knows. It can <laughs> melt steel beams. <laughs> so I'm just on the roofs now. Assassin's Creed. Kind of similar. Like the, the architecture. I mean, other than the fact that it's like really old building. Oh, I just walked off of it. I mean, actually, Assassin's the first Assassin's Creed took place around oh. the time that this kind of looks like it took place. Yeah, when Cy Cyclopses were invading France and beating the shit out of everyone. <laughs> I, mean, I remember that in the history books. I mean, you know what I mean, though. <laughs> like, the time, of, the time of history that this would match. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. In the so you're saying time of history, but what you mean is in the same like uh, different uh, universe era. Yeah, same like era. The the, the bronze works. era or yeah. whatever like that. So yeah, I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. Where armor started becoming more and more important for the you know the average soldier. Yeah. And uh, architecture started becoming more castle like. Or more fortified, I should say. I'm assuming that these are like houses, which is why I'm not looking inside of any of these. <laughs> Maybe you're just too high up. You can never get too high. <laughs> 420 blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> blaze. Oh, there's a guy. Let's ask him what's up. He's totally guarding an important area. Uh, icon. So that means the pawn is online. Pawn is whom you cannot give gifts. That's a friend's pawn. And that's a pond you can even list it in the past. Oh, that's interesting. Hello. Oh, so this is a pawn I'm talking to. Cool. So I can enlist him for zero. That's too expensive. <laughs> I say take the chance. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> if, you, if you insist. <laughs> I will enter into a covenant with this pond? That's way too intimate. <laughs> a blood-packed covenant. We shall cut our hands and high-five or whatever. Well, I don't even notice, but he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> That's a chainmail skirt. Mm -hmm. The manliest of skirts. I mean, the manliest of skirts is called a kilt. It's true. I, there was things true. that I was going to say, but I'll try not to piss off all our five, one, <laughs> two, three, zero Scottish listeners. <laughs> if you're Scottish, put something in the comments about how you like your dangle dangling. I'm sorry, then... Camille. He didn't mean it. <laughs> And I actually do have a Scottish friend named Camille. I don't believe you making stuff up now. Who's this guy? Well, actually, technically he's Polish, but he lives in Scotland. So, does that mean he's Scottish enough? He's got okay, go enough. He eats haggis and drinks whiskey. God, haggis. <laughs> Whoever was like, let's fucking just stuff it all in the intestines. Well, they had to eat something, and sheep was kind of the only thing around. Ask you a favor, sir. Yeah, but you didn't have to stuff it all in their intestines. I mean, you had to put it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, in your fucking mouth. <laughs> you don't have to fucking have another animal digest it first. I mean, obviously it's not getting digested because it's dead intestines, <laughs> but we're pretending. <laughs> I mean, what do you think the first types of sausages were? They put... True. They're just stuffed intestines with meat. <sighs> Fucking twisted them into little like sausage things. So this guy wants to ask us a favor. Should we hear him out or tell him to fuck off? Uh, can I'm, we, can I'm we... saying he's a weirdo because he's keeping his sack Is that in a weird a spot. Woman, because no, he's got a coin purse. Look, can we punt him in his or her coin oh purse? Oh my god, you're right. We could just like throw him. <laughs> <laughs> no, not now. Just throw him. <laughs> I'm gonna hear him out. See what he wants. Fine. He, he warns for you to hear what he's got to say. Or she. It looks like he, I can hear it. looks like it could be a very ugly woman with a very low voice. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is that time and age where it's sometimes a pretty hard question. He could also be a hermaphrodite. <laughs> All the hot chicks got picked up by fucking nobles. That is true. No, no hot chicks left. Kidnapped and raped by nobles. Or just not. 
<laughs> it, it was, or just taken because he's like, "Hey, you're hot. You want to be like over here?" Yeah. It, no, made. it was it was not a great time for women back then. Long search for sir. Oh, he's gonna ask us to get something. A grimoire. Hold the power to grant the reader command over grand arcane magic. I'm not letting you have it. I'm keeping it. Of Salomet's grimoire. Ensorcelled? Is that a word? Is ensorcelled a word? Can you ensorcel something? He's Is that how you add magic to something? Bro, he's edumacated in the arcane arts. <laughs> <laughs> he is the redneck wizard. I don't believe I ensorcelled the shit out of that book. You see that sparkle? Ah, oh, yeah, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> oh, my God. I can just see him. Like, he should be wearing a fucking Confederate, like, gown or whatever. <laughs> Confederate flag gown. And a fucking ball cap. What a dick. He's like, go find this for me. And our guy's like, yeah, what are we going to get for it? He's like, yeah, I'll tell you when you bring it. Solomon's Grimoire. Just like, how about like, this, bud? I'm gonna keep the book and I'm gonna slap you with it. The Key of Solomon. <laughs> Except the redneck version. That Salomet was a pretty cool guy. This guy talking about dragons and talking. Dude, look at that face. <laughs> that's that's a face only a mother could love. That looks like Bill Murray's older brother. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But without even knowing what he looks like, yes, it's like that's Bill Murray's weird older brother who's no, no, like no. got a real job. I've seen. I need to Google an image and show you what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, and now I'm gonna have to find that same image and put it up in the episode so <laughs> now everyone else can see. Uh, it, it'll be worth it. Trust me. <laughs> See, Bill Murray's. <laughs> right, right now I have, I likely have put up the image in there right now. <laughs> I, I hope so. If not, I've put up a image of a cute squirrel store nuts. Come on, where's the, where's the picture? Or both. <laughs> <laughs> it could be both. Or none of them. <laughs> Depending on what he feels like. Maybe I just put, like, meh on the screen and that was it. Eh. Uh, uh, uh. uh, fucking... So I'm doing... Like, this town is way too fucking big. There. There. Oh my god, he does look like him! <laughs> Brian Doyle Murphy. Like, if you put, like, a really shitty wig on the top of his head. Yeah, exactly. No. Uh, we're definitely putting that picture up, too. Yeah, that exactly that guy like looked him. exactly like him. By the way, Brian Doyle, Brian Doyle Murphy has, like, an amazing voice, by the way. Um, I'd have to actually look up his IMDb, because I can't remember anything recent that he's done, uh, voice-wise. But he used to be big in, like, cartoons in the 90s. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I hadn't, like, okay, so when I was little, I fucking loved Star Wars. Like, I was one of those kids, like, all my friends loved it, I loved it, everyone I knew loved it. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea that the Joker on Batman was voiced by the same character. Oh, yeah, Mark Hamill? But I fucking loved that, too. Like, I fucking loved it. Whoa, what that was guys? my favorite Joker, too, honestly. I Even over Heath Ledger, I liked the cartoon Joker by Mark Hamill better. Honestly, probably because of the, he got a lot more screen time and got to flesh out his character a little bit better. Yeah. So he had I, a lot more experience that, doing it. But also just how much more insane and psychotic and random. Like, True. he didn't need True. a reason. Like, the Joker from The Dark Knight would just be like, I just want to fuck with him. The Joker in, like, the animated series is just like, oh, well, I'm just doing this now. <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs> Uh, I, the one in Ark Knight, it was like uh, an anarchy kind of style one. Yeah, it like no, it was like a total anarchy. status quo thing. fucking yeah. pisses him off, and that's pretty much it, and he goes from there. Yeah. Um, and then the the one in uh, the cartoon, it was very much focused on just like, uh, I just like fucking with Batman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just <laughs> like just fucking fun. with Batman. This is really fun. Fuck Batman. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to go to these Boy, guys. The road it's closed. Turn back. Okay. Did he oh, say turn me around too? Like don't. Did he say disclose? I think you better strip. Oh, okay. He, he needs a price to be paid, a <laughs> toll, if you will. Yeah. Uh, My dangle raisin. <laughs> My old man schlappity balls. <laughs> you just like unbuckle your belt. Your balls just hit the floor. Flip <laughs> 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 
everyone in the town just stares. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's so horrible, but I can't look away. Alright, so we gotta find the inn. Is that the inn? I don't know, I can't read those. Words. That would fucking be hilarious if that's. I can't What's really that read that. What's that sign? So it's got a book with a quill. So that's a magic shop then. And then, so. yeah, probably magic shop, probably right. Uh. Oh, no, it's the inn. <laughs> That makes no sense. Paper logic says a book with a quill means magic. Right. And then honestly, like, okay, so I could kind of understand if maybe it wasn't, but then it had like the moon and stars next to it too, <laughs> yeah. which is the other one. This is the moon and star and book and quill in. Yeah, obviously. Additionally, once you've grown enough arisen, you'll be able to change vocations here. Oh, so we can change our class? Cool. Nift. You the arisen, the men of a core speak of? Yeah, I am an arisen. A You're like the 80th person to ask me today. So forgive me, I've spoken poorly. I'd imagine, simply imagine a sort of figure pulled right from legend. Or what, really? You didn't expect the old man sad face that's like, just had a life of terror <laughs> to not be the fucking arisen? The last big event in my life was a dragon ripping my heart out. Honestly, like, Literally. the way the guy looks, it seems like... He was just so ready to die. I mean, he went straight at a dragon. He was like, I'm so ready to die. I've hated my life. Take and the me, dragon sweet did, embrace yes. death. And then the dragon comes out like, I know you want to die. But let's put a pin in. <laughs> <laughs> let's put a pin in that and come back to it next time on the Bitmasters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but really first. All right, yeah, no. I want to see in, what the innkeeper in has to say yeah. since he's shit talking us about our arisenness. Oh, we're doing the opposite of shit talking, kiss assing. You know, nosing. there isn't enough uh, renegade interrupts in video games, Mass Effect style, where you can just pull your dick out and slap somebody in the face with it. It's like, no, you shut the fuck up. I'm done listening to what you have to say. <laughs> it's like, sir, please, it's a quest. Can you just listen a little bit? And like donking off their forehead. <laughs> sir, please, oh, sir, sir, this is really greasy. Please stop. <laughs> oh, God. That's a, that's a mental image that I wasn't prepared to go into. <laughs> Your old man balls are really <laughs> greasy. It's, oh. you, you have to lick my balls, Marty. <laughs> That's the end of this episode. <laughs>